Let's go out to Krista Rose now. He's hanging out with some four-legged friends. These four-legged friends are really big. They're big, like big, four, big. 14, 15 hands high. <laughs> Yeah, no joke. Uh, Big Bella is, is, I think, around 14 hands. How many hands? 16 hands. 16 hands. Uh, for those of you who, who don't do uh, uh, horse measuring, it just means she's big. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to bring in Sage, though. We're at Courage Reigns. We're talking about the mental health benefits of working with horses and this equine assisted therapy program. Uh, what does it mean to you to like see the connection between human and horse and, and the healing power that it really does have with mental health? Uh, well, it's incredible to see that healing power, the connection between the clients and the horses. Uh, it, it, it's really rare to see that kind of connection. And it, that having that kind of connection builds back trust. And if you have experienced trauma, it's likely that you've lost a lot of trust. And this allows you to build that back. Um, Working with the horses helps the clients um, learn how to set and hold healthy personal boundaries, he healthy space boundaries, helps them with feeling a partnership, leadership. Um, it, the benefits of mental health with horses is therapeutic aids, um, just go on and on. Um, trauma, anxiety, depression, um, as well as a variety of other kinds of mental and behavioral health issues are, are all helped by working with horses. Well, I want to go over here and talk to Sarah, who's actually working with Big Bella, and uh, it looks like they're, they're in the middle of a session, but Sarah, you mind if I ask you a quick question? Is that okay? Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good. Well, t what do you love about working with Big Bella so much? She's my friend. Yeah? What uh, what kind of connection do you guys have? Friendship. Totally, totally. Is she does she just make you happy when you when you come in here to Courage Reigns? I'm kind of. Uh, <laughs> I just. You just love her, right? No, I'm just loving being on camera. <laughs> hey, me too. That's why that's why they pay me the big bucks. It's it's all good. But hey, if you guys want to come down and want to get involved with Courage Range, you can check out their website, follow them on social media. You can come down and work with a gentle giant like Big Bella here. Big Bella, how we doing? You okay this morning? It really is a, a great place, and they do really tremendous work, you guys. So hang on, and we got more coming your way. Hold on to your reins, as they say, and we got more coming your way from Courage Reigns here in Highland. Good job, Big Oh, Good so job. sweet. Great. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Well, today might be a good day. One of the one of the last really nice <laughs> mellow days to get you out know, on the horse. You know, I've been saying that for the last couple of weeks, you know. But, wow, this afternoon we're going to be warming up uh, almost into record territory in Salt Lake City. By far, it'll be the warmest day uh, this week. And we're off to a great start. We've got some high clouds, but you can see they've thinned out enough that looking north from the Intermountain camera across the Salt Lake Valley, a lot of sunshine to enjoy. A lot of uh, mid and high level clouds spreading across the state, patchy enough that we'll still uh, get to enjoy a lot of blue sky today. In general, it'll become partly cloudy. It's 49 right now in Salt Lake with a breeze southeast 12 miles per hour. Warmer in Ogden at 50. A lot of valleys have made it into the 40s, even though you're still hovering in the mid-30s in places like Logan. Now, we've got high pressure building in from the southwest that continues to keep it dry and warms us up. But there's a storm approaching the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be weakening, but it will send a cold front across Utah tomorrow. It'll slide across the north in the morning, the south in the evening. Behind it, temperatures drop. We'll also get a chance of a few showers developing. And with the cold air settling in behind that storm Wednesday morning, we might have our first freeze along the Wasatch Front so far this season. In fact, that's very likely. Now, this afternoon, at ahead of all that, we'll make it to 70. That's not quite into record territory, but about 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. It'll become mostly sunny in the far south. In general, partly cloudy across the majority of the viewing area. With a lot of valley temperatures uh, hovering from the mid-60s to uh, low 70s. A little warmer in St. George at 74, although you drop in the upper 60s tomorrow, mid-60s by Wednesday. Noticeable difference, but that's still pretty mild for this time of year, and you'll hover pretty close to that all the way through the weekend. Northern Utah will have a chance of a few showers tomorrow morning 
They'll be pretty light. They won't last very long. It'll become partly cloudy heading into the afternoon, but it'll be almost 20 degrees colder than what we're expecting today. And the temperature keeps dropping into the middle of the week. We'll only make it up into the low 40s on Wednesday, but then uh, we'll warm back up into the low to mid 50s by Thursday and Friday with another chance of a, a few light valley rain, mountain snow showers by then. Thank you, Damon. Good morning, everyone. Let's shake things up and connect. A mix up over text message turned into a Thanksgiving tradition. Actually, one of the Internet's longest running traditions. You may remember this story. They're all set for year six. And oh, this is going to make you smile. We're talking about it after the break. Stay with us. Well, let's connect and talk about Sesame Street. Let's do it because there's yes. a new Muppet and I guess we're going to hear all about this new Muppet, Danny. Yes, she's going to be a first for the popular kids show. Ji Young will be the show's first Asian American character. You see her on your screen. The Associated Press got a first look at her. Ji means smart or wise and Young means brave or courageous and strong. So we are happy to have her. She's making her debut on Thanksgiving. Ji Young says she looks forward to sharing Korean food with her new friends. So she's going to bring in the traditions. Mm. Yeah. And she has great hair, I just noticed. She I mean, does. Especially Lots next to it. Ernie. You know, <laughs> no, Ernie doesn't. Take a comb to that, Ernie. Do you Help want Ernie the consistency out. like yarn, your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Some days it is. We can make that shampoo. work. <laughs> well, let's talk about strangers becoming family. Okay, so you guys may remember this story. A grandma accidentally texted the wrong number, inviting a random teen to her house for Thanksgiving dinner. This is a look at the original text exchange that quickly went viral six years ago. It's kind of become a tradition, and this year is no different. But you can see in this text exchange, um, the grandma wrote saying, Thanksgiving dinner's at my house this time, this day, hope to see you. And the person on the other end said, who is this? Your grandma. Grandma, can I have a picture? And she says, of who? And he says, of you, LOL. She sent a picture, and then he sent a picture saying, you're not my grandma. Can I still get a plate, though? And, and she says, of course you can. That's what grandmas do. They feed everyone. That's how the tradition started. And now Jamal tweeted out, we are all set for oh. year six. Yeah. No way. I love this Isn't story. That it kept going. That's I great. Love this. You know what? Like, what, oh my goodness, it was just meant to be. Uh huh. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just cracking up at her sending her selfie, him sending his selfie, saying, "You're not, You're my, not grandma. my grandma." <laughs> but she still said, "Grandmas do this. Come on over." That's a good grandma, right That's there. That's a good, good. She gets right. it. Yeah, she does. So, so great to see that. Uh, let's take a look at today's totally random poll. We want to know if you started your holiday shopping yet. I'm so surprised that most Utahns are saying yes right now. 60 percent. 40% say no, but we've got Utahns that are on top of it this year because they know it's going to be hard to get things. Well, I'm just thinking uh, maybe they bought peppermint bark or something, and it's like, yeah, I've started my shopping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'm I, nibbling on it this afternoon. I got some eggnog in the fridge right now, so yes. <laughs> so, Dan, shopping. how far have you actually gotten is my question. I've actually bought several and stored them away, hid them away in the house already. So where is the secret hiding where. space? I'm not going to say where, they might but it's watching. where tall people can reach. <laughs> Only people with, like Dan. Yeah, with, with a stepping, with a ladder. They're on the roof, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there. That, that's a hint. <laughs> a great hiding place. Nobody ever okay. looks there. Nobody even knows it exists, to be honest. Oh, wow. Yeah. Carrie, Dan is strategic over there. He is. Hopefully he didn't forget you and I. Yeah, I was going to say that's where our gifts are. You guys are priorities in my life. Oh, so, Dan. Yeah. 